Good morning, thank heavens you're here early. We have our work cut out for us with the East Coast report. What's wrong with you? Things on my mind. I didn't sleep so well. Things like what? Finale. Well, I fired him and he's off my payroll, so hopefully yellow petrochemicals will be off my back. It depresses me as much as it does you, but you've got to be hard-headed when you're running a business. You'll find other work. You and I know different kinds of people. Where I come from, I, in my family, I, I guess my father, I mean, I knew people who would put a price on anything. They'd, they'd sell out a friend, rip off a friend. That's what I was thinking about. What? Finale selling out. Maybe he wasn't set up. Maybe he was paid to write that article. Jack? Not in a million years. He can't be bought. I tried it once myself, I know. All right. I, I just had an idea that you might want to check his bank account or something, but uh, forget I mentioned it. Is this the East Coast report? Yeah. falsified reports there were no excess waste in the water supply and hey i met the real gene allen and the real nick lewis and they do work for yellow petrochemicals the only trouble is they're not the same two guys that i talked to that somebody really went to great pains to set me up oh i uh, i've been fired too i can't believe this who why why didn't you call me yesterday? Oh, well, I was busy getting drunk. And then I had to stop by uh, the Cafe Budapest in the corner of the company president, Mr. Daniels, and uh, create a little scene there. And uh, uh, do me a favor. Get out of here before I start getting mean. I feel it coming on. Sorry. Is Ryan squared away? Yeah, till after school. Fine. After coffee, we're going to take a nice long walk. Rose, go on home. I love you. And I'm staying with you. Damn whoever did this. We're going to get them. Hey. I, uh, I thought I'd have your father look into it. You bet he will. The minute he gets back from Pennsylvania. I am so sorry. I have enemies. But who could hate me that much? No, I can't think of anything else. I mean, suppose it weren't Finelli. Suppose it were some other reporter. Would I just assume that he couldn't accept a bribe? Of course not. Would I check into his bank account to make sure that there hadn't been any recent large deposits? Without hesitation. His account's with your bank. Yes, and the bank manager is a friend of mine. So I will be right back. Yeah, hello. Uh, it's all taken care of. Ray just left and she went to go check Finelli's bank account. Great. And you thought you couldn't do it. Well, what I said was, Joe, I, I didn't want to do it. Well, it sounds like you came through fine. Thanks, Michael. Uh, Joe, uh, does this wrap it up? What, for Finale? For him and me. Well, it could be. It's a little early to say for sure. What's she going to find in his account? Oh, well, if I tell you that, I spoil the surprise. Talk to you. <laughs> Genoa City? Here's what you need to know. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. We thought we lost you. My world would have been a lot less colorful without you in it. Did you take this to Corbell? 
Is that how you came up with those phrases? I did. Ah! Don't interrupt your move! Keep up to date with the young and the restless. Weeknights at 7 on SoapNet. Tonight. There's someone out there. Everyone on this island has secrets. How'd you know Claire was drowning? And this survivor may have the biggest one of all. You have superpowers? You don't want to know what happened to me! The captivating, riveting, four-star season you will never forget. An all-new Lost, tonight at its new time, 10, 9 central, only on ABC. This body can roll with the punches. Poise, now with wings. Matches your moves, eases your mind. Nothing beats the first and only winged pad made just for light bladder weakness. New Poise, yes I can. I hate dieting. Yeah, me too. You're not dieting? Nope. I'm having sesame chicken with noodles, red peppers, and green beans. It's from Lean Cuisine. Comfort Soft Waistband. Wrapped in soft cotton and tagless, it can make every move this comfortable. The Hanes Comfort Soft Waistband. Our most comfortable underwear ever. Every day, millions of adults taking medication for depression believe the myth that they can't change anything about the depression symptoms they're still experiencing. Depression symptoms still affecting Julia's relationship. Holding Mary back at work. Keeping George from his favorite activities. The reality, if you're taking an antidepressant but still dealing with depression, it could be your time for change. In a recent government study, over 70% of patients taking an antidepressant continue to have unresolved symptoms. So visit yourtimeforchange.com for a DVD that has information on depression and a prescription medication. Learn why it's important to speak with your doctor about treatment choices. Find out about options that may help you achieve the goals of treatment. With another medication, you may be able to prevent depression from returning. Recapture what you've lost. Enjoy life again. This is your time for change. you called. Well, I kept missing you, so I thought it was best just to make an appointment. <laughs> well, we've had so much going on in this house. Let me tell you, I've had barely time to think. But this is our time. John is covering the bar, and Delia's out, and little John's at school, so there'll be no interruptions. What's this? Oh, just some tea. Looks more like a second breakfast. Whatever. You don't have to finish what's on the plate. Oh, no, I'm not turning it down. It's lovely. Why don't I pour? Do you want one lump of sugar? Yes, one would be fine. I love the smell of the tea. It nice associations. I remember... I always buy tea. I don't know why, because I end up drinking coffee. <laughs> Faith. Darling. I... I've started this all off wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, this isn't what I came here for. I... I should have come to you right away. No. I know that. No, just as long as we eventually talk. No, I should have come right away. I tried. I... I four or five times. I... I planned it, but I didn't because... Well... I just... I didn't know what to say. That's all right. And I obviously still don't know what to say. You've been hurt. You're in pain. And the cause of that pain is my son. Explanations and circumstances aside, he's hurt you deeply, terribly. And how that could be when you're so loved in this family, and we've always tried to make you feel safe and protected in this home, your second home. John and I, your second parents. Faith, I know how angry you must be. I, I don't blame you, love. 
I want to fix it. I want to make it better for you. But somehow I feel like I I'm the source of the wound. I think you're more mixed up than I am. I know you love me. I don't doubt that. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, tell me, where am I mixed up, hmm? I mean, maybe you can help me. <laughs> Here. I knew these would be good for something. Maybe that's how it's got to work. About coming to me, I, um... I'm glad you didn't, not until I was ready. The truth is, I was glad I missed you the other day because Frank was the one I was looking for. I had a lot of things to say to him, and I said them. And by being pitied and comforted, I would have been less angry at him. And I want to stay angry. And so today I feel like I can do that and, and still be with you. You want to stay angry? Oh, yes. <laughs> because it's there, Maeve, and I know that I have to feel it. I'll only hurt myself by hiding it. It's given me a certain strength. I'm not drinking. And I faced up to, to Frank. More importantly, I faced up to Jill. I said a lot of things to her. I finally won a round, which was a wonderful experience. What do you mean, love? She came to me with all her armor on, so innocent, so sad, so sorry. And I got through to her. I actually broke through, probably for the first time since my father brought her into our home. And she admitted that she loves Frank. She loves him and she wants him, which confirmed my sanity, which was another wonderful experience. So life hasn't been all that bad this week. Hey, are you assuming because she still cares that, that she tried to take Francis back? I'm not assuming. I know. Oh, Faith, I can't believe that. I mean, you in time won't either. Maybe we won't discuss Jill. In other words, because I'm taking her side, is that it? I didn't mean that. Yes, you did, dear. I mean, I didn't raise three daughters not to know what that look means. You were the image of Mary when she was furious with Siobhan and more furious with me because I could see her sister's point of view. Well, maybe you're right. But the parallel doesn't quite work because Jill is not my sister. Oh, she is in any way that it matters. No. She is not my father or my mother's child, and that is is what matters. The simple fact that you were brought up together. She No, she is adopted, Maeve. And Jill never shared. She always took. It's taken me all these years to realize that. It's hard for you to see. It's hard for everybody to see who hasn't lived with her. But I have. And she has developed a knack for taking what is mine. And that includes Frank. May I suggest you, dear Francis? Francis is the one that bears the responsibility in this situation. Yes. He let her get to him. No doubt he invited her. Harlan, you're not listening to me. He is the one that made the mistake. He, he blocked his feelings. He ignored them. He allowed you. No, 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 no. Well, he allowed her to play the old games. He allowed her to say, Frank, I'm staying away but never going away. Oh, no, she hooked and reeled him in when he should have hung on to me. That would have broken the pattern. That would have put her in the past. He should have married me. <laughs> Faith, you're ignoring the fact that the man had a mind and a will of his own and a conscience, much as he loves you. Oh, Maeve, no, no. But he does stop. love you. Stop. Faith, the decision was based on the fact that he loved you. Jillian did not reel him in. He's not going to her. Oh, I sound like I'm defending him. Yes, you are. That's exactly no, what you're it doing. Is. I am not. I am trying to tell you something. This is it. Based on the fact that he is confused about Jillian, he realized that he would be harming you even more if he married you. And I have to admit I know, that I know, I know. You have to agree. You always have to agree with him, Maeve. You want to talk about your marvelous son? All right, fine. We'll talk about him. Pavel. Hi, it's me. Please don't hang up. 
Hey, Kim, you can't do this. Suppose my secretary had answered. I was going to say it was Mr. Harris and that I was his secretary. You'd have figured it out. Yeah, and so would Schultze. Look, I can't talk to you now. I, I'll call you later. Kim, okay? Michael, did last night happen or not? Do we love each other or not? Yes, we do. And I promise there'll be some way I'll be with you, but your mother could walk in here any second, okay? I want you so much. Why don't I go rent a hotel room, and you can come and meet me there at about 5.30. That'll give us a couple of hours before I have to go to the theater and the half of the night after. And I'll make up something for Seneca. He doesn't care anyway. I wish I could. I want to. I'm so fed up with everything. I can't. I can't, Kim. I might have to work late. Kim, look, I love you. But I... Be right with you. Okay, I can talk to you about this in a couple of days. She's there, isn't she? All right. I'm gonna go ahead and, and get the room anyway, and I'll send a messenger and no, tell you where you. it's gonna I be. will talk to you later. Mm, goodbye. Somebody giving you a hard time, huh? Oh, I'm just not much use for anything today. Your uh, lack of sleep over finale. I suppose. Any news from the bank? Oh, yes. Marion is trying to get a hold of Jack right now. You found something? You made a rather brilliant guess, my darling. The day before yesterday, $50,000 was deposited in Jack Finelli's private bank account. I am praying that there is an explanation. If you're not watching... Get out! You're missing... He was set up. He's using you! Don't let another juicy moment slip away. Could something that feels so good be wrong? Go to SoapNet.com to get the scoop. You're exhausting me. And watch Another World on SoapNet today at 1. Kiss me. And then get out of here, okay? Tonight on SoapNet. A town on fire. Oh, my God! Save her son. Mom! And a secret affair. I love you. I love you too. Blows up in flames. Help! Watch One Life to Live tonight at 9 on SoapNet. It's time for some loving, so let the passion rain on. It's Macy's Valentine's Day gift event where the love's going strong. With lingerie, fragrance, jewelry, and more, we know we've got what your Valentine longs for. Gifts to pick up when your heart feels inclined, and maybe you'll hear, will you also be mine? So come into Macy's and be part of our Valentine's Day gift event. Just share the love. The Valentine's Day gift event at Macy's. Cold season dragging you down? Keeping you under the weather? Retreat and renew with a gentle care of non-medicated Sudicare. Let Sudicare envelop you in soothing aromatic vapors, comforting vapors like menthol and eucalyptus. Retreat to your shower with Sudicare shower soothers or to your bedroom with Sudicare vapor plug. This cold season, get over the weather, not under it. Retreat and renew with the gentle care of non-medicated Sudicare. To make the most of life, eat right, exercise, and reach for nature-made vitamins. We all want the most out of life but don't always get the nutritional and antioxidant benefits we need from our diets, which may increase our risk for cell damage and lessen our chances for healthy aging. More than a third of us over the age of 40 don't get enough vitamin C. You'd have to eat eight oranges every day to get the vitamin C antioxidant benefit of just one Nature Made tablet. Nature Made vitamins dissolve quickly to be easily absorbed in your system, providing vital nutrients and antioxidants, promoting healthy aging, and lessening your risk of cell damage. These vitamins contain no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Now that I'm retired, I want to maintain an active, healthy lifestyle. I want to travel. I want to keep working. Nature Made Vitamins contributes to that. Join the 13 million Americans who get the most out of life with Nature Made Vitamins. For coupons worth $10 off Nature Made products, call 1-800-910-1238 or visit naturemade.tv. Some people really know how to move. When you're moving, we'll get your Direct TV up and running in your new place free. Just make one call to Direct TV Movers Connection and arrange a date to move your service. It's free, it's easy, and it's one less thing to worry about. Call 1 866 Way You Move. That's the way to move without missing a beat. I like the way.
Yo. Send him in. Jack. Jack, good morning. Thank you for getting here so quickly. Well, that's no trip by cab. What do I uh, say now? How's it, uh, how's it going? Well, I think that's about fair at this point. Please, sit down. Jack, there's been a complication. I want to lay it on the table and discuss it as openly as possible. Sure. If you'd like me to leave. Why should you leave? His army get fired, stick around, see what happens next. It's about the yellow petrochemical story and you, and I'm not quite sure who else. To put it quite simply, a report has come to me that $50,000 was deposited in your private bank account day before yesterday. <laughs> yeah, right, sure. And I spent the weekend in the Caribbean. What the hell are you talking about? This information comes from your bank, Jack, and I need the explanation from you. $50,000. Now, what... I'm sorry, Ray, your information is wrong. What are you saying to me? Are you saying I took a bribe? I'm saying I hope to God not. Of course you are. Well, so long. You play whatever games you want, just don't include me in, okay? Don't call me again, not on this, not on anything else. Jack, help me. Stop, hear me out, and help me, please. I don't want to indict you, but I have a company to protect. Now, what would happen if Daniels found out about that deposit? There is no deposit. There's no $50,000. There isn't even $1,000 in my account. And where'd you get the lead? It started with a hunch, and then I checked with your bank, and somebody bent the rules for me and checked your account. Yeah. Well, either you're someone who's mistaken, or I've been framed even more royally than I thought. All right, all right, all right, let's assume, let's assume that I did sell out, okay? You think I'd be stupid enough to put it in my own bank account, huh? So the IRS could find it in about two minutes? Come on, Ray, you give me so damn much credit for my integrity. Give me a little credit for a brain, okay? Very simple, two, two equals four. You steal money, you hide it. Jack, on a personal level, I want desperately to believe you. Professionally, I cannot without an explanation. Now you check. You will find that money in your account. So, what I'm suggesting is that you trace it your way, let me trace it my way, and both of us hope that we find an answer. Fine, 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 fine. And I'm warning you. I may have to subpoena your bank records. Don't bother. You're welcome to them. You'll get a copy this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Ryan's Hope is on next. Then unravel all the lies on the young and the restless. Later, it's all my children on SoapNet. Have you noticed, sir? The halo that's around my head. I don't want to be answerable to anybody else on the face of this earth. It was stupid. Very, very stupid. Ryan's Hope, next on SoapNet. SoapNet is dramatic. It's addictive. SoapNet is hot. It's fun and it's fresh. If people can't catch us during the day, we're on prime time. You always hear I'm at work, and I'm so tired of that excuse. You get to see it on the weekend if you missed anything during the week. Now my mom can watch all the episodes that she normally misses. This is just great. No excuses now. You must see our show. The Young and the Restless. All my children. One life to live. General Hospital. Days of our lives. SoapNet. 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 The new way to watch soaps. Thank you, Glade. Hello. Hi. Ooh, apples and cinnamon. Ooh. Are you baking a pie? Oh, no, it's this candle. <laughs> Smells like the real thing. Hello, one of the new Glade candles. No, it's French from France. French, huh? Oh, what? You never heard of Glade? <laughs> Introducing Glade's new line of candles, now made with essential oils. You'll believe they're the real thing. They're new. And yes, they're Glade. See Johnson and Family Company. My life was like a bad dream. I was really overweight. I tried other diet products, but nothing moved the scale. For those with significant weight to lose, I recommend New Solaris, the world's strongest weight loss formula. Solaris is formulated to support favorable metabolic signaling, resulting in truly significant weight loss. I lost 30 pounds with Solaris, the world's strongest weight loss formula. From bad dreams to dream body, thanks to new Solaris. Get yours at buysolaris.com, supercenters, Walgreens, and fine retailers everywhere. For years, I thought Frank was a minor miracle. I adored the way he operates. What way is that? As if he's entitled. But at the same time, Frank would give you the shirt off his back. Now, what a combination. He was my, had my brother's ego, yet he had my father's kindness. Now, how's that for a young girl's dream? Was it your dream? He was everybody's dream, and especially yours. He was your golden boy. 
your firstborn, your perfect one. Perhaps you considered him perfect. I yeah. did. And you still do. Oh, Maeve, I remember sitting in the kitchen, having tea, the very same kind, the very same smell, and Frank would come waltzing in, and he'd have a big smile on his face, and he was always so nice, as if he owned the world, but always nice. And he'd, what, won an award or a game or a fight. He was always winning. And you would smile at him and be so proud for him and say, son, you deserved it. You deserved a victory. You worked hard. And he would smile and say, yeah, Ma, we all love me a whole lot, which was incredible. I mean, it just blew me away every yes, time. Yes, he was like that at some times. But he had his dark side. Perhaps you never saw oh, it. Oh, yes, of course I saw it. Yes, he had his troubles. He would hit a snag now and then. But it was never anything he did. He, if, if it was unconscious, because the trouble was always outside. And he would hit an obstacle, but he would overcome it. And the sun would shine again. It had to. It was never allowed not to. Faith, what are you saying to me? I'm saying to you that Frank is not a golden boy. I am in full agreement. You aren't. You are not. <sighs> never mind. There is no point. If you're not going to listen to I me, I want no to hear point. you. I want to understand. Now, you can walk out that door if you want, but do not tell yourself it's because I won't hear. All right. All right. You just admit it to me. Didn't you? That Frank hurt me. But not because he was selfish. Not because he used me. But because he blocked his own true feelings. That it was his unconscious talking. See, same as always, nothing he did. It was his unconscious. That was the obstacle, and darned if he didn't overcome it and end up telling the blessed truth. Wait, now. I said he made a terrible mistake. I do not defend what he did. Maeve, it was not a mistake. Frank deliberately used me. Now, you take that in. He used me. I know Francis too well to believe that he could set out to do such a thing. Yes, he is my beloved firstborn. And he has faults, and I recognize those faults. But let me tell you, nonetheless, that he loves you, he fully expected to marry you, and he did not use you. Translation. It was not his fault. He could not be blamed. He can do no wrong. You are blind! We are all blind when it comes to the people that we care about, even you. No, not this time. No, uh-uh. I see it all with blinding clarity. The only reason Frank approached me is because I was Jill's so-called sister. And the perfect path for revenge. And if he got comfort and affection along the way, which he certainly did, well, terrific. He was entitled. Faith, you approached him, dear. You called him because of your drinking. You talked to him about Barry's accident. He offered you friendship. Absolutely. You are absolutely right. He did until Jill left him. And that's when the game changed. Or I should say, that's when the game started. We may as well be talking about some stranger. In all the years you've known my Francis, did you ever know him to, 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 to be conniving, to be manipulative, to be vengeful? Don't ask me about years before, because I really didn't know Frank until now. I'm afraid you're not hearing me oh, now. Oh, but I am. I heard what you said. You said that Frank has a mind and a will of his own. And he said his own sights. He made his own decisions. But Maeve, those de decisions were not based on love for me. They were for him. They were for Frank Ryan, center of universe, taker of all good things. Never mind. Never mind, Maeve. You keep on smiling, and he'll go on making you proud. You keep your dreams. Falcon Beach is heating up SoapNet. Don't miss all the hot bods, steamy sex, and sizzling drama in this resort town. Falcon Beach, Saturday at noon and again Sunday at midnight on SoapNet.
Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. Well, of course I understand. It's all there. Jack? Uh, Howard, I'll get back to you. Jack, wait a minute. Now, what is this? It's my bank records, a year's worth, up to and including today. Oh, yes. Thank you. Jack, you know if it were only my personal... Yeah, yeah, I know you have a business to protect. Pass it along to your lawyers. It will, of course, be strictly confidential. Guaranteed. Given the last few days, I don't have much use for guarantees, but uh, thanks. If there's anything else that can be done, Jack... I'm sorry. Me too, Michael. Close my account, by the way. If I'm going to take bribes, I'd rather do it in person. The bank's holding the 50000 till I trace the deposit. Jack, how can you? I don't know, Ray. But I will, if it takes the rest of my life. Oh, you're awake? Mm-hmm. I thought we were going to sleep late this morning. I tried. But as soon as it started to get light... You mean, like, uh, 5.30 or 6? Mm. I didn't look at the clock. Yeah, well, I did. Same thing happened to me. Well, you were faking all that time? No, more like floating. I've been waiting for this morning for a long time. I'm enjoying it. We have so much. Yeah. New work, new home. Life, love, marriage, everything. That's what I've been thinking. Then why aren't you smiling? Guilty, maybe. Sad. Here we are with so much, and Jack has lost the one thing that meant so... Well, he has right. Oh, Siobhan. But his career... Look, could you not... Talk about Jack. Think about Jack for now. I can't help it. I want to do something for him. <laughs> yeah, like what? escalates. Who will live and who will die when the Metro Court lobby explodes? Find out on GH this Friday at 10 on SoapNet. Jolena. Flowers? Champagne? Musicians, how did you do that? I've got my secrets. Follow your favorite Salem super couple every move in prime time. Welcome home. Watch Days of Our Lives, tonight at 11, only on Subnet. I got turned down buying a computer. I had credit problems. Then I heard about... Help me to buy. They helped me get this amazing computer without a credit check. Bad credit can happen to anyone. At Help Me to Buy, we believe everyone should own a computer, and we'll never check your past credit. Call us now. All you need to qualify is a home phone and an active checking account. Our easy payment plan makes it affordable, and only Help Me to Buy offers an exclusive skip pay program, so you can even skip a payment with no problem. My truck broke down, and Help Me to Buy, let me skip a payment. Getting a computer has really helped my kids in school. Past credit problems? Not a problem. That's our guarantee. And look at all you get. 
A new name brand, high-speed, internet-ready computer shipped direct to your home. A gorgeous 17-inch color monitor, all complete with Microsoft Windows XP and a huge package of extra software. When you call today, we'll include 12 months of Help Me to Buy supercharged internet access. Plus, we'll also include an amazing digital camera for capturing family memories and a three-in-one printer, copier, scanner for printing your family photos and documents. But wait, you also get a cool MP3 player. And if that's not enough, you'll get 100 music downloads. That's everything you see here. A complete computer system with 12 months of supercharged internet access, an amazing digital camera, a three-in-one printer, copier, scanner, the MP3 player, and 100 music downloads. Our easy payment plan makes it affordable. And with our exclusive Skip Pay program, you'll never worry about missing a payment. I never thought I could own a computer like this. Now, I'm on the internet every day. Call Help Me to Buy now. Our computer care specialists are standing by to ship your complete system to your home. To buy your brand new computer, call 1-866-470-3162. That's 1-866-470-3162. Call now. I'm here, Roger. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, darling. It, it's me. Roger, let me in downstairs. Oh, did I wake you? Yeah, I guess. I'm very tired, mate. Darling, I'm so sorry. No. You didn't do anything. Oh, that's true enough. Nothing good, anyway. I waited for you to come to me, and then when you did, I let you get sidetracked with all that nonsense. No, it's all right. It doesn't matter. It does matter. I feel like I drove you away. Now, you know that's not true. I left because there was nothing more to say. But there is. I can't let it end like this with you just simply walking away. No, it was stupid of me to go. I probably just wanted a fight. Faith, I'm glad that you came. You liked hearing me call Frank selfish and cruel and whatever else I called him. I thought about that the rest of the morning, but I didn't I like just it, no. I don't want to talk right now, mate. I can't because I'll hurt you and I'll hurt myself. Sweetheart, you haven't hurt me. And you don't need to talk. Why, why don't you just lie back and finish your nap, and I'll, I'll just sit here a while with you, and then I'll go. Hmm? Look, Maeve, it's not necessary. I know what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. Besides, you should be at Ryan's. It's about lunchtime, no, isn't it? No, they can manage without me. But so can I. If I want the Afghan, I'll get it. I'm warm enough right now. I'm fine. What, what do you think that I'm trying to do? Mother me. Well, there's a place for that sometime. No. Not now. You can't take away the pain. You can't do it this time, Maeve. But... What about love and no, support? No, no. It's too confusing. And it makes me... I want to be strong. I am strong. Yes, Faith, you are strong. In, in fact, this morning, remember? You told me that maybe you would help me. Well, you did. I mean, you helped me to look at Francis in a way that I have never seen him before. It's true. He does love himself. And I taught him how to look at what's good in the world and to claim it as his own. Of course, he has to give much in return. But I believe that he does believe that he is entitled, as you put it. And he learned that attitude at my knee. So you agree he is a user and a taker? No, I'm not saying this. I thought not. What I am saying is that I agree with is that he definitely received a message in the way that I brought him up. 
Maeve, stop. You cannot take the blame for what he's done. And if that is what came out of the conversation this morning, then we shouldn't talk about Frank, Jill, and me. I won't visit you, and you shouldn't visit me. No, please, let me get through this. I want you to understand I have a very clear fix on Frank and Jill. What he did to me was bad. What she did to me was worse. And you can't take the blame. You can't take the pain. You can't take the anger away, Maeve. And that's how I, I'm angry. That's the way it is. I love you. But that's the way it is. I love you too, dear. that supposed to mean? It means, would you like some coffee? You think every time I hole up here, I'm getting drunk? No. I just thought you might want some coffee. I don't. So I'll leave it. Roger, I don't want company right now. Look, I live here too. Not on this floor, you don't. Unless you're going, going to take up the deal. I mean, I... I did say you could have the upstairs, didn't I? Yeah. I came to evict you. No, you didn't. You came because Maeve told you to. But I forgot about the deal, so if you, uh... All deals are off. <laughs> that certainly is true. Hey, you, you know what I meant. I like my apartment, and I like you up here. Roger, I really want to be alone right now. Please. In a minute? Now, please. The nicer people are, the harder it gets. To what? To function. And I'll be damned if I'm not going to function. OK, I'll take the coffee back. But just to set the record straight. I think that you are functioning beautifully. And Maeve did not send me up here. I heard her leave, but we didn't talk. And as to being nice to you, I admit that, that I do have the urge. But maybe that's because I've been in some bad places, too. And maybe that's because we share a certain anger at Frank Ryan. A certain anger? Yeah, I would love to. Don't. Just. Don't get involved. But I am involved. You're my sister. Yeah, and I can speak for myself. <sighs> would I be out of line if I told Frank what I thought about yes. it? Yes. Because you would be undercutting me. All right. I tried to explain this to Maeve. The things that she says that are kind the way that she mothers me, you're bringing the coffee. That doesn't help. I love Frank. And he's gone. Nothing is going to change that. I got myself in this position, and I'll be damned if I don't get myself out. And I will, but... Oh, I didn't want Maeve to see me like this. I have hardly cried. I don't know what's coming from. Well, it's about time. I'll check in with you later. Uh, no. Let me call you. Fine. She 
was crying when I got there, and she was crying when I left. There was nothing I could say. She wouldn't even talk to you? Well, she talked, but... What did she say? Oh, it doesn't matter. She's saying the same things. She's angry, and she's going to stay that way. Well, you don't have to hold back on my account. I know what she thinks of me. There's no point in repeating the words, and besides which, her opinion of you is nowhere near as important as her opinion of herself, and that's what's worrying me. I'm not sure what you mean. There's a core in Faith that's absolutely steady. Oh, steady enough to keep her from drinking? Well, mm -hmm. so far it has. I just hope she gets some professional help through this time. You don't think she's headed for a breakdown? No, of course not. But there were emotions coming up from someplace very deep. I mean, they just kept overflowing after every few minutes. Son, do us a favor, huh? And just leave it alone. Da, it is my doing. Francis, I never would have said a word. No, it's okay. I'll see you tonight, probably. Oh, I do. I hope this afternoon turns out better than this morning. <sighs> Where are you going, son? I've got business to take care of. Frank, please. Don't go to Faith. I mean, you wanted to break the engagement. You did it. Now, just leave it alone. It'll huh? only make it worse, Francis. I understand. So long. Morning. Oh. Uh, I thought I heard Frank. Yeah, he just went out the front door if you want to catch him. Uh, How are you feeling this morning? Hungover, which doesn't surprise you. Rich, which does. Rich as in money? $50,000. What? Hmm? Well, it turns out I, uh, I didn't write that petrochemical story uh, because I was conned. I, uh, I wrote it because I was paid, as in bribe. And there's fifty thousand dollars in my bank account to prove it. We're Ewings. We stick together, and that's what makes us unbeatable. Real power is something you take. I'm watching after the Ewing interest. Love you. I know. Soapnet's got back-to-back -back Dallas today, starting at two. What's new in Pine Valley? Here's what you need to know. Get off of me! Now is that any way to treat a lady? It's my baby. Not yours, not Emma's, mine. You could give us a clue as to how this guy operates. Because I have so much experience as a psychopath. If anyone killed Amelia, it was your father. <coughs> Keep up to date with all my children. Weeknights at 8 on Soapnet. Tonight on Soapnet, emotions rise. As the hostage crisis comes... I'm asking you to marry me. Ask me again to be let's do this. ...to the climax. Game over. <laughs> Watch General Hospital tonight at 10 on SoapNet. Kmart's lesson in love begins now with diamonds for one lucky lady. A cute teddy bear says, hey, give me a hug. And who doesn't love designer fragrances? Yeah, that's nice. Do Valentine's Day right, only at Kmart. Bring more to the table in only 90 seconds with Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. For years, I've been telling you how to get cash now for your structured settlement or annuity payments. Times change, and your financial needs change with them. If you need cash today, J.G. Wentworth can help. We work with thousands of people just like you to get the most cash for their structured settlement or annuity payments. It's your money. Use it when you need it. Call J.G. Wentworth today. Call 866-778-4919. Fed up with your overpriced internet service and looking for something new? It's time for an ISP makeover, and this is a job for PeoplePC Online. Go to peoplepc.com now and cut your internet bill in half. For only $10.95 a month, you get unlimited internet access, including a smart dialer with more local access numbers and AOL for faster, more reliable connections. You get a complete suite of security tools, including spam controls to help keep junk mail out, a pop-up blocker to help stop pop-ups, and email virus protection powered by Symantec. You can even keep using your favorite instant messenger. Ready for your internet makeover? 
Go to peoplepc.com now to try us free for 30 days and compare us side by side with your current ISP or call 1-800-583-1308. PeoplePC Online, a better way to internet. So the one where Vince runs around everyone. Hey, go, go, go. My car! Discover how an ordinary bartender tried to become the most unlikely rookie in NFL history. Which player college ball? I didn't play college ball. To make this roster, you must throw away all fear. Polly is not making this team. You ain't going nowhere! Mark Wahlberg, Invincible. Fifty thousand. Yeah. Imagine a smart guy like me depositing a bribe in my own bank account. That's not all. I didn't even know I did it. Till Ray Wood had told me I did, huh? Wonder how I uh, managed to cross the street alone. Now, Jack, be serious. What are you saying? I am serious, May. Sorry about the sarcasm, but you see, I have a, uh, I have a big urge to smash things, and I'd, uh, I'd like to avoid it. Jack, tell us what happened. Well, you see, the uh, the story wasn't just set up. Uh, it seems that somebody's out to destroy it. Anybody up there? Uh, where did the partner done? Ah, well, if he's with her, I'm leaving. Oh, look, not till you explain. I'll get rid of him if you want. Jack. Why? Oh, Jack. I haven't been able to think about anything else except that damn story. Yeah, well, I, I have the same problem. Hi, everybody. Joseph. Yeah, Joe. Uh, look, Jack's in the middle of something, so if you don't... No, that's all right, Johnny. I, uh, I can manage. You sure? I'm sure. Sure of what? It's worse than last night? Uh, yeah, uh, $50,000 turned up my bank account. Somebody's investing a lot in this game. To make it look like you took a payoff? You got it. Listen, if you're the only one who knows, why don't you just keep quiet? Ray Woodard so? knows, her lawyers know, her assistant knows. I already told the bank. Hmm. You have any idea? Not a clue. But I will. What does this mean for you? Well, I, uh, I could be sued, I could be put up on charges, probably blacklisted for good. What, you, you couldn't write anymore? Oh, I'm always right. The uh, problem would be finding someone to publish it and pay me for it. Ray can't believe this. She knows you don't make deals. She's, she's got to believe you. Yeah, well, Ray has uh, Woodard Publications that come first. Well, can't somebody help you? Yeah, yeah, Joe. As a matter of fact, I'm handing it over to a guy who, uh, terrific, a lot of connections. His name's Finale. Well, I hope you... Do can... you? Great. You can throw a party for me at the Crystal Palace. The first annual I Believe in Jack ceremonial dinner. We'll, uh, we'll have a ritual burning of my, uh, my bank records. And the door prize will be uh, two free passes to my cell block. Sound like fun? What are you looking for, Jack? And what do you want from me? I want to laugh. I just told you a joke. Come on, there's nothing you can do here. Wait. You're acting like this because the alternative is bursting into tears or throwing punches or worse. I know. So I just write it off. Don't be insulted. I don't want to leave until I've told him. Told me what? Okay. Siobhan, you just do whatever you want to do. I came here to try this out on Mother and Daddy, but since you're here... I know you'll get to the bottom of this. You will clear yourself, but it'll go a lot faster if you're not working alone. I'm around, basically available. Let me do something. Leg work, following up leads, anything. Babysitting for Ryan, please, Jack. Who's ever after you? I want to fight them, too. Next, there's danger and drama on The Young and the Restless. Then catch today's All My Children and One Life to Live on SoapNet. He's got game. Women give their number to JT all the time. If you say so. He's got the girl. I'm not leaving early tonight. Why? Because you can't bear to be away from me? No, because I'm really hungry. <laughs> but one mistake is all it takes to get busted. I wouldn't call what you did nothing, JT. Sleeping with my dad's fiance is not nothing. Mr. Romantic, screw up already? That didn't take long. Get to know J.T. Hellstrom, a real heartbreaker with a heart. All I want to do is throw it over. Is that possible? The Young and the Restless, next on SoapNet. It's about sex. Who's getting some and who isn't? My dry spell's been enthusiastically broken. Jason, Tanya, Aaron, and Danny go to Wake Jam. I can do this. But this overnighter is anything but smooth sailing. Hey, minute, you don't trust me. Falcon Beach, Saturday at noon and again Sunday at midnight on SoapNet.
It's maximum cough suppression for up to eight hours. Unique spray for maximum coverage. It's a maximum idea whose time has come. And it fits in the palm of your hand. Try Zycam Cough Max. It's big time, anytime cough relief. Cupcakes. Aye, big play to trouble at one o'clock. No worries. I've got quick over snacks. Mmm, so light and crunchy. With 60 caramely calories, get some and get back to goodness. Your homemade superpowers have no effect. Are you one of the millions of Americans having trouble sleeping, waking up tired, struggling through the day? A trusted team of medical doctors has a drug-free way to end sleepless nights. New Sleep MD. Start falling asleep in just minutes and sleep better and longer with exclusive nano-diffuse and time-release technologies. With Sleep MD, you wake up incredibly rested and refreshed. We're the MDs in New Sleep MD, the sleep solution millions have been waiting for. Get yours today at sleepmdhealth.com, Walgreens, GNC, and fine retailers everywhere. Hello. Do you have a couple of minutes? Oh, very strange. Is it? Yes. Can we talk anyway? All right. I'm worried about Faith. <laughs> well, that's wonderful, Frank. All right, Roger. Look, go ahead, say it. Take as much time as you need, then we'll get back to your sister. Are you suggesting that I vent my anger? As much as you possibly can, yeah. At your convenience. I need to ask you some questions. I can't do that if you're knifing me in the back every other word. Well, we have a slight time problem here. Uh, maybe you've got a couple of days, but I don't. That angry. That angry times two. Faith and Julian. I'm going to give this a shot anyway. Now, my mother was here, as you know. She talked to Faith, and she came away with the sense that Faith is more than bitter and furious and hurt and all the other reactions that I've seen. Ma felt that it went much deeper. And the faith might not be able to handle it without... Without you? Without extra support. I might be part of it, I might not. Correction. You will not. I wouldn't allow you within a mile of faith. Any more than I'd... What? Lie? Cheat? Steal? Any more than I would trust you around Delia or Ray or any other woman of my acquaintance. So you know, your track record with women is fairly disgusting, Frank. Let's, you walk right over him. Let's not start citing evil deeds, Roger. Huh? I've got too much ammunition. Don't do that. Oh, wait, you came here and you asked me to say all this. I'll be damned if you're going to leave before you listen to me. Maeve is right. Faith is in very poor shape because of you. Jillian is not a hell of a lot better also because of you, and I'm telling you to lay off. Now, Faith does not need to be rescued, so you can play that fantasy somewhere else. She's going to pull herself together, and as far as Jill's concerned, she should have left you five years ago. If she had any sense at all, she'd be running for her life right now. Done? No! Now, just get out of here. What about Faith? Is she upstairs now? I'm warning you, Frank. First of all, Roger, your warnings don't cut any ice with me at all. Secondly, I'll do what makes sense to me. And thirdly, I don't think that seeing Faith right now would be a good idea. Well, very fortunate for both of you. No, when you get a chance to be righteous, you really take off, don't you? I love my sister. I love her, too. Oh, yeah, we could do that, too. Oh, I've already gone further than uh, Faith asked me to. Uh-huh. Well, just uh, don't come back, huh? For more of this, not likely. But, Frank, you're so fond of coming back for more. You know, ever since we were this high, we've known each other. And I've never liked you. Nevertheless, I'm telling you this. I'm not going back with Jill. There are no plans. Zero. Oh, I just wish I could be reassured. I don't give a damn what you are. <laughs> Want to find out what's going on in Genoa City? Well, stay with SoapNet for all the dirt on your favorite YNR characters. From corporate shakeups to relationship breakups, you'll find it all on The Young and the Restless, coming up next only on SoapNet.